Oh, Fogel, I'm in your hands. Hello, everybody. Oh, wow, okay. All right. So, this is the studio. This is where you work out. This is where you put your dance routines together, then, is that right? Yep. Okay, so what am I going to witness now? Sit down. <laughs> okay. Press play. And right. There we go. Here we go. Shoes, hair in ponytails, on their river dance. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's presentation you, of the shoes. Thank you so much. Just your size. Right. So we start off. Right. Go on then. First bit. We just practice a few rallies. Three beats. But da dum, but da dum, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Second lesson is going to be two rallies. Rally, 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 hop back. Oh no, step on yeah. there. So you're back, you bring your right foot back and then lean on that. So rally, 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 rally hop back. Just explain to me again, remind me why I'm learning this routine. You're dancing at a wedding. Was it a big wedding? Yeah. How many of us are going to be dancing? Five plus you. So there's basically nowhere to hide, is there? No. Oh God, really? Oh God. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. We can put them off for another year if you want. Let me have a word with them. Okay. I'll talk to them, okay? Want the number? Yes, please. <laughs> it could take me the best part of a year. Excuse me while we carry on rehearsing. <laughs> Listen, can you do this, what, what speed it's going to be, you know, on the night for okay. my benefit? No, that's, yeah, no, that's <laughs> lovely, that. I don't know if I can better do this, you know. It's a shame because I don't want to spoil someone's big day. Take one, take one, and tip your foot. Oh, right, sorry, sorry, fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Just got to remember. Five, six, seven, go. Yeah. And one, and one, so. and tip. How? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things that I've blagged throughout my career that I've pretend, you know, I just got away with, but. Something like this you can't because it's so precise. No, I'm not giving up. Good, man. Just thinking about it. Okay. I thought this would be so easy. Ready, sir? Yeah. Underestimated Five, it. Five, six, seven, go! Over! I so wish I'd listened to my mum when I was four. One, two. Well, it's end of day one, and I'm bruised, I'm hurting, confused, and no closer to finding the Irish secret. Ah, this is more like it. Day two started with a bit of relaxed fishing. No rods and reels on a lazy Irish river for me, though. Oh, no. How about a mile out in the Irish sea and a boat as big as your sofa? OK, so I've got a big sofa. Finally made it onto the water. Paul McLaughlin, how are you, mate? Thanks for taking us right, out here, pal. No right, tell us a little bit about where we are right now. You're at the beach of Ireland's Eye. Okay. Very important, it's because this is like the first thing you see when you come into when you come to land at Dublin Airport, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you fly over it. Yeah. And the last thing you see. So how long have you been a fisherman there, mate? Yeah, Twenty years. And what is it you catch mostly out here? Lobster. Coming alongside the float here, Shane. Do you rely on a lot of luck for catching lobster, or is there a lot of method to it? Ah, there's a method to it. What's the method yeah. then? What's the secret to catching Patience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, look! So, there's a little one. So you have to measure them. Wow, look at that beauty. Now, how, is, that, is that a good lobster? That's OK. Is it? If it goes over that, it's not OK. Really? And how much would that go for, like, you know, selling something like that? That... You wouldn't get much more than a tenner. So is it fishing in your family then, mate? Is it? Is it... Yeah, my, my father was a fisherman. No, he lost a fight somewhere. There's only one claw. And what is the actual meat on the lobster then? Isn't it? Well, in the claw. Yeah. The body. Yeah. And there is a bit in the head here as well. Right. A lot, some people don't don't go for that. But... And how much is this one worth? He's not worth so much because he's missing the claw. <laughs> if you understand me. <laughs> 
Paul, this is my first visit back, you know, in a few years, coming home and catch up with some of the family. Like yourself being a, an Irishman, would you, would you live anywhere else? Would you like to be anywhere? Well, I did, and I came back. Where were you? Denmark. Okay. Yeah. What made you go to Denmark in the first place? A uh, good looking woman. Really? It's always the same, <laughs> isn't it? But no, I prefer to live here. Yeah. What made you come back, though? As an Irishman being out, uh, away from my I think Ireland, the way of life, really. Yeah? Why is it different, yeah. though? I think it's the people. I play traditional music. Right. And I missed that a lot. What is it about being <laughs> Irish? The, play, the place just gets a grip on you. Yeah? Yeah. What we caught here? That was an undersized little lobster. Oh, a little baby Seriously, lobster. little baby, yeah. So have you thrown him back in? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what is it about the music then, Paul? It's, it's the music i will be talking about is uh, playing sessions in the pubs and that. Yeah. And the crack. So do you ever fancy yourself being a professional musician? No, no, no. No? More for the, for the love of it, you know. I think we'd have to try you for the last one. Bloody hell, it's a bit heavy. Have I got a big one? Oh. Whoa, look at that, sweetheart. Way! Oh, I have caught my first big lobster. Do you mind he doesn't bite you? How much is this one worth, Paul? Uh, you get 30 quid for 30 him. 30 quid for him? Luckily Irish, eh? You ain't so lucky. Paul's love of music is another thing I'm going to follow up on. But all that later. First, four pounds of lobster, not a clue how to cook it. I need a fishmonger. And Nicky the Fish is out to lunch. In every sense of the word. I met him for his daily constitutional. <laughs> Nicky, how are you, mate? I'm right up for now. I'm oh, ready to yeah. get in here. Oh, now you are the number one local fish around here, aren't yeah. you? Number one is right. The yeah. number. Well, I'm, I'm retired now, but Martin has taken over. Okay. What are, you, what are you doing? I'm looking forward to getting in here for a swim because it keeps you right for the day. You know. How sometimes... often have you done this? Though? How long have you been doing this? Ah, uh, I sake, I suppose for. I suppose we be going back 50 years and anyway. And you come down every morning and have a swim? Every morning, yeah. Even we come down here there, lad. It just shows the morning that you 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 keep coming down here because the mornings we come down here, you couldn't... The frost, there was snow along here. There was everything. And here, look at this morning, my God, tonight. Anyone that's around here should be getting in for a swim. You know, it's beautiful. Mm. What does it mean to be Irish? Tell me, what is it about being Irish and about, well, you know, here, today? I don't know what it is. Just... Well, well, I think it's the, it's everything about be being Irish is something that we're very proud of, our heritage. I can go back for years, for generations, and all my people, you know, they never had much money, but they enjoyed it. Now, mm. we come down here today, it costs you nothing, and the scenery is great. You know it what I mean beautiful. to say? Our own country is But is great. it about the really? country or is it about the people? Well, it's the people and the country. Say you go down to the country and everyone there, the, the people are in the farmers in the field, good morrow, you'll always get that. You know, that's great. Yeah. It's a sign of welcome to, to their place. I think it's fantastic. Mm. I think it's great. And like, we try and keep that down in the shop. I think people come in, they enjoy it. They might come in for maybe a small bit of fish and they still come in for the banter, you know. How many pieces of place would you like? You know what? That's the best part of the place. You know why that's the best part? Oh, and it's great to be able to do that, to give them a bit of banter. They wouldn't come down here for a swim. You ready for a swim? Listen, I better go down. Let me walk okay. you down there. No, come you're on. all right. No, Don't mind this, fella. Come on, I think right. I'll pull him in, will I? No, right. no, I'm not going swimming with you. Yeah, well, it won't be too long, you okay. know. Okay. Right. Here you go. Now listen, we've got a saying in London called, have you heard of the saying, you're barking? That's right, yeah. Barking mad. Yeah, barking mad. Barking mad. You better believe it. It's March. It's freezing. And he's off. Is that what, is that what Irish is about? Is it? Absolutely gorgeous. I'll have two cod, one haddock and three <laughs> chips. Yeah, we'll wait for about ten minutes. All right. Barking, Irish Sea in March. No. 